Hello lovelies, today we're gonna talk about seven one minute habits to declutter your home. Consider this a cheater's guide to a clutter-free home. Let's jump right in. Number one, the 60 second purge. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a box, a bin, or a bag, and you're gonna walk around your space swiping things in off of surfaces. Anything that doesn't belong, anything that you don't need, you just swipe it into this bad boy and this becomes your decluttering bin. So set a timer on your Alexa and speed around your home, going room by room. This is a very, very fun 60 second habit that you can also do with your kids. A fun little game. Hey, Timmy, let's set 60 seconds on the clock and see how much stuff you can pick up around the house. Number two is going to blow your mind and it's the bin in closet hack. Full transparency, this one will actually take you under 60 seconds, 15, 30, maybe even less than that. What you're gonna do is you're going to put a bin in your closet, in your kids' closets, in your partner closets, however many closets you have. And every single time you pull out an item from your closet, whether it's a pair of jeans or a sweater or a dress or a shirt, and you decide, I am never going to wear this. I haven't worn this in a very, very long time. Instead of, and a lot of us are guilty of this, instead of putting it back in your closet, toss it in the bin. You keep doing that for every single item. After a couple of weeks, a month, two months, that bin will become full. And guess what, ladies? That becomes your decluttering bin. One of the quickest and easiest and stress-free ways to declutter your wardrobe. Number three is the one in, one out rule. Maybe you've even heard of it, but are you practicing it? What it really means is anytime you go shopping and you purchase a mug, a t-shirt, a dish towel, when you bring it back into your home, you get rid of an existing item. So one for one, one mug for another mug. You keep doing this and you will maintain a clutter-free space. If you want to take it up a notch, then I highly recommend the one in two out or the one in three out. Hella brave. If you're enjoying bite-sized tips like this, subscribe to my weekly newsletter and receive decluttering and home organization tips in your inbox every Sunday. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Number four, trash the paper clutter ASAP. Paper clutter has a way to accrue and accrue and accrue. And if we do not tackle paper clutter right away, we're going to be investing hours going through each piece of paper because by then you forgot what it is, where it belongs. Chances are if you have a lot of paper clutter, maybe you've lost a bill or two. But instead of having to declutter a huge pile of paperwork, nip it in the butt before it even gets to that point. And a great way to do that is to deal with the potential paper clutter right away. So for example, if you receive mail and a lot of it is spam promotions, magazines and stuff like that that you don't need, will never read. Instead of bringing it back into your home, trash it, recycle it right away. I actually built an incredible habit, feel free to steal it. So I will open my mail on top of a garbage can and whatever I need, I will keep and I will put it in my designated mail caddy. Whatever I don't need, if I have to, I will shred or rip it up, recycle it, get rid of it, but it never makes its way into my home. It's such a great practice to decrease the amount of paper clutter that we have. If you're getting value from this video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. Number five, ladies, decluttering habit that takes 60 seconds or less is to declutter your purse. When was the last time you decluttered your purse? Drop a comment, let me know. Our purses, especially if we have kids, our purses tend to turn into a garbage can. Receipts, wrappers, my daughter will randomly stuff toys in there. Our purses can get so out of hand that we can't even find what we're looking for. Like how does a pair of keys get lost in a purse? <laughs> Take 60 seconds, build the habit of decluttering your purse at least once a week. That'll make it clean and tidy and super easy for you to find things. Next 60 second decluttering hack is to take out your trash every single day. Quickly emptying a small trash bin or recycling containers helps to maintain cleanliness and prevent overflow. Our trash cans tend to get full. It makes our space look cluttered and messy. At times it can smell. Take 60 seconds to reduce the look of visual clutter by taking out your trash and your recycling daily. Best part is you can assign this task to your partner or your kids. So you don't even have to be the person to do this 60 second habit.
And finally, don't forget to declutter your fridge or your pantry. Spend a couple of minutes tossing those mystery items. Have you ever noticed that some items in your freezer actually change color? Like, what are they? Spend 60 seconds, declutter those condiments, things that you know are expired or that you're not going to eat. Spending 60 seconds every single week, decluttering your fridge and your pantry is also a fantastic habit to do before you go on a shopping run. Because imagine you come back home, you have all of the stuff and your fridge and your freezer is already empty, making space to put your new groceries. It's going to take so much faster instead of, I know like many of us, we do our grocery shopping, we come home and that is where we start tossing things to make room for the stuff that we already have. So invest those 60 seconds, get rid of the things that you don't need, that you don't eat, and quite frankly, that you don't even know what they are. Drop a comment, let me know, what was the last mystery item you found? Here are two bonus tips when it comes to decluttering. Bonus tip number one, store everything that you're going to be eliminating from your home in black garbage bags or boxes that are sealed shut. The reason for that is if you're somebody who struggles letting go, and that is okay. If you can see through the bags and the boxes, you're going to be tempted to go through the items again and bring them back into your space, which leads me to bonus tip number two. Once you've packed up the items, congratulations, that are going to be either trashed or donated, get them out of your home as quickly as possible. Again, oftentimes, if those bags and boxes stay in our space for too long, we're going to be tempted to bring them back into our space. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you. What video topic are you interested in seeing from this channel next? As always, good luck on your decluttering journey and don't forget to be good to yourselves.